Hello everybody, I am Jeff Green and I'm here to teach you a little bit about some basic calculator programming. I'm going to assume that you either know what you're doing or you've already seen parts 1 through 3 of uh, my calculator series. And so I'm going to get right to it. We're going to create a program that's function is similar to if you go to zoom and hit 6. And what this does is it displays this graph but it also adjusts the window to from negative 10 to 10 and negative 10 to 10 and this has been really useful for me um, to hit zoom 6 it's just really quick and it gets me the information I want normally however the thing is that sometimes I want to see the bigger picture or I really want to zoom in on the smaller picture and the only other zoom option um, that's useful is is zoom trig and that'll give you like radians and stuff but we're gonna make a program that will adjust everything for you and so we're gonna call it zoom alright so the first thing we need to do is put our name on this or you can skip this step and just move on to the next one but I always put my name on it and then I always clear the home screen right after so that no one ever sees it unless they look in the calculator program itself. Alright, so the third step, now we're dealing with graphs. We're going to display this graph as our last step for any of these options. So, the first thing we want to do is go to the second draw and we want to clear draw because we want to get rid of anything that's going to be in the way of the data we want. Alright, the next thing we want to do is we want to make the X and Y scales zero. And if you look in the window, that's what controls the little dash lines that go uh, go across here and uh, up and down here. The, the little dash marks in between each one. And we want to get rid of those because no matter what picture we put in there, it's going to come out wrong. So, we put zero, store, and then we hit this vars button, variables, and that's right right here. And then it'll give us a bunch of different options here, and we hit window and x scale. And we repeat it for y scale. Alright, now I'm going to teach you about a function that I didn't cover in the other lectures. You go to program, and you cycle down to menu. And we're going to be able to choose now from uh, what scale we want it. If we want it to go from negative 1 to 1 on the X and negative 1 to 1 on the Y, or if we want it to go from negative 10,000 on the X and negative 10,000 on the Y to 10,000 on the Y. So the first thing we need to input in this menu screen is the title of the menu itself. So we're going to call it scale. Now we're done with that, so we turn off this alpha button and we put a comma in. And what this does is it separates this title from any other thing that we put in here. Now the next thing we put in is the title of the first bar that you can choose. And so we're going to make uh, just three of these. And we'll call the first one negative one to one. And now we insert a comma here to tell it to end this. This will be the title of the first menu option that you have. And so we need to put a one here to say that it's going to be the first title. And now, we could put in uh, negative 10 to 10, but we're not going to do that because if you hit zoom 6, you already have a negative 10 to 10. So it's already programmed in the calculator. We're instead going to skip to negative 100 to 100 and negative 1000 to 1000. And now we put an end parentheses right here. Alright, so now if we test this out, we go to program and zoom. If we hit it, we should get this menu bar. And there you go. And if I click any of these, it's not going to do anything because I haven't assigned it to do anything. So the way to get a menu to do something is you go to program and we got to go into zoom and we tell it this new command, which I also didn't go over earlier, it's label. And so we do label one. And what this tells you is that everything coming after label 1 is going to be for the first option, or 1 here. So now what we need to do is we need to assign negative 1 and 1 to the x min and the y min and the x max and the y max. And I'm going to go ahead and do this and meet you on the other end. The way you get to those is 
you go to variables once again, the VARS button. Alright, now we're done telling it go, to go from negative 1 to 1 and negative 1 to 1. Now we need to actually display the graph. So, we go to program, and then we go to input and output, and display graph. And now, if I use this key, it should display the graph and it should change all the window parameters. Now we're done with label 1. So, what we need to do is we need to tell it to stop, which I believe is alpha F. Stop and now we can move on to label 2 and we do it the exact same way since label 2 is going from negative 100 to 100 that's the number that you type in here instead of all this other stuff otherwise it's the exact same so we go program and we go down to label and put 2 in and then you just type in the numbers and tell them to store them in the right parameters And we once again repeat it for label 3. And now the program's finished. All you have to do is go to program, zoom, and you choose, uh, let's say, negative 1 to 1. So you choose the first option. And if you check the window, it goes from negative 1 to 1. And it makes this X scale, so the tick marks on the X axis, it's gone. And so if you want to look at a clear picture of something in close-up, then you click that one. Or if you want to look at the big picture of something, then you go Program, go to the Zoom, hit the third one, and it'll go now from negative 1,000 to 1,000. And this is a huge time saver when you are looking at the big picture in any pre-calc class or stats class or any other type of math class where you're dealing with really big numbers or really small numbers. This is very helpful. So that program was quick, it was easy, and most importantly, it is done. So thank you for watching my series on calculator programming. This is the last segment, so I hope this information was useful to you. This is Jeff Green, signing off.